Today I want to talk about trade shows in Japan and I have two websites which I want to show you and I've also linked in the description below. The first one is called eventseye.com and here we see all the trade shows by month for the following 24 months more or less until end of 2023 and we can filter by location here Asia Pacific since we're looking for Japan and there we look for the uh, Japanese trade show so we can see here in brackets 225 trade shows coming up until the end of 2023 and when we look into the different trade shows the good thing that I found about this website is that you will have all the trade shows in chronological order so now while it's still loading um, it shows you all the 225 trade shows that are coming up in Japan um, within this month of 2022 and moving forward until the end of 2023. So this is very useful if you just want to get a quick picture of what is happening right now or in the next couple of months uh, in Japan if you're uh, interested in, in or considering visiting and uh, you want to see if uh, a trade show in your specific industry is during the time that you're visiting or maybe have a business appointment in Japan um, since Japan has opened its borders for business travelers uh, with uh, um, uh, in regards to the restrictions and, and quarantine that was priorly in place that has been changing since March 1st now, if you want to go more into detail about your specific category, there is another website uh, called J Messe on the Japan External Trade Organization website. Uh, you'll also find the link in the description below. And here, let's look, for example, for manufacturing. Let's say that you are in manufacturing and you want to look for a website on a, product, uh, for, on a trade show for manufacturing then you would look for that there specifically. Now, uh, one thing that we forgot, of course, this is now basically the trade shows that are worldwide. But since we want to specifically look for trade shows in Japan, we first go to advanced search and uh, pick the region of Japan to see the available trade shows in Japan during a certain time frame. So you go keywords, we had manufacturing, uh, and then we go to Asia, and then within Asia we have Japan coming up. There you go. And then we can start searching for um, the trade show there. You can also see that in-person trade shows or online trade shows, and I'm going to explain a bit more about this in a minute. So here you can really go more into depth about the different trade shows. They also do not come up here chronologically. So um, this is uh, something where I found the um, uh, eventseye.com website to be better but combining both is really helpful to find the best trade show for your needs and for your specific industry. Now the biggest trade show organizer in Japan is called RX Japan and uh, they have a really extensive exhibition schedule with different trade shows and what I wanted to show you in addition to their schedule in general is that most of the trade shows that they are hosting you can actually also participate in virtually which is a great facilitator if you cannot travel or you do not want to the want to make the investment yet to go to the to the Japanese market before um, doing business with Japan, which at some stage I highly recommend you do. But if that is the case, then you can look into your specific industry and you can usually find 
an option to either visit remotely or even exhibit remotely. So let's go to manufacturing again and pick a manufacturing related trade show here. So you can see uh, we have uh, manufacturing world in general, uh, design and, and uh, engineering. Those when are when they're in Nagoya. This is uh, around April. Those are trade shows that are happening on the same location. So those are subcategories of the manufacturing world trade show. Let's pick aerospace here as an example. And the the advantage is that you can first basically just take a look at the at the trade show um, as a visitor. You can make appointments with certain companies that you're interested in, um, make Zoom calls. Usually it's a uh, online or a video meeting platform that uh, they provide, so Manufacturing World provides. Um, but nevertheless, you can start collecting leads and see what your competition is doing. Um, from the comfort of your office or, or your your home. Um, so this is something that I highly recommend and I found very useful with my clients. If you want to get your feet wet and find out who's in the market, what your potential market entry options would be for the Japanese market and to plan your next steps and potentially find business partners on the Japanese market for your specific product category or industry. Now, here is a, an option for exhibiting request where you can um, uh, find or re request more information about um, exhibiting, but I will also link a video here at the end that I've uh, also um, made in relation to how to exhibit remotely and what the cost of remote exhibiting is. So this is something that I highly recommend if you are considering to not only visit and find potential leads, but to test the market and actually see how the Japanese um, potential Japanese business partner partners respond to your product service or offering um, on location so how that would work um, I do go more in depth in in the video that I will also add to uh, the end of this video as well um, if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and see you next time